Hey guys, thanks for cooking with Tammy. Today I'm going to show you how to make baked ziti. This classic baked pasta dish is going to be far from any ordinary baked ziti. Not only is it going to have meat and sausage, but it's going to be packed with tons of complimentary delicious flavors. First things first, using a large pot filled with water. Once the water comes to a boil, I'm going to add about 3 tablespoons of olive oil as well as a pinch of salt. Before adding the pasta, adding the olive oil will prevent the pasta from sticking together. After stirring the pasta, I'm going to cover it down with the lid and allow it to cook until al dente. Adding 2 tablespoons of olive oil to my heavy duty skillet. Once the oil becomes hot, I'm going to add the onions. When it comes to the onions, you can use whatever you have. Once the onions become semi-translucent, I'm going to add the minced garlic, combining both ingredients until fragrant. Adding the green onions and continuing to stir. At this time, we're going to add the ground meat. I'm using turkey ground, but the preference is totally yours. However, if you decide to use beef or pork, only use one tablespoon of olive oil to saute the onions and garlic because beef and pork tends to produce its own oil. Now that the meat is cooked almost all the way through, I'm gonna start with the seasoning process by adding a quarter of a chicken bouillon cube. Adding ground black pepper. The key to any great ziti is having a good base, meaning the determining factor of how good your ziti turns out depends on how flavorful the meat is. Adding salt to taste. I'm also adding a can of diced tomatoes. If you have fresh tomatoes, you can add that as well. Adding about three cups of pasta sauce while keeping some on reserve for later. I'm going to turn the flame down to low heat, allowing the sauce to simmer while I work on preparing the sausages. Allowing the sausages to brown on both sides before removing and placing onto a paper towel lime plate. The pasta is now al dente. Straining the pasta off, I'm going to rinse it in cold water to stop the cooking process. Adding about a tablespoon of olive oil to the pasta to prevent it from sticking while sitting in the strainer. In the meanwhile, chopping the parsley and cilantro. Now that the sausages are finished frying, I'm going to add it to the sauce and combine. Taking the reserved pasta sauce and adding it, along with diced red bell peppers, fresh cilantro and fresh parsley. Dried oregano. And of course, sugar, which helps to cut down the acidity in the pasta sauce. Combining all of the ingredients together, At this point, I've already turned my stove top off. I'm going to add the pasta to the sauce and combine all of the ingredients. Now that everything is combined, I'm going to add the pasta to the casserole dish. Topped with shredded mozzarella cheese, as well as a little Parmesan cheese, and pop it into my preheated 350 degree oven and allow it to bake until the cheese is melted. After being in the oven for about 20 minutes, the cheese is melted and is slightly brown around the edges. After letting the baked ziti set for about 15 minutes, I'm going to cut into it to show you what it looks like.
As always, thanks for cooking with Tammy. Subscribe to stay updated. And most of all, enjoy.